Welcome to CRTV, the New Year's episode. Today, we'll start off with a story, and then we'll have a few activities, and we'll end with pictures that you sent us from the past month. Let's get started. Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries! What color did it turn his shoes? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy! I love my brown shoes. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White! But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Rock and roll! The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. The End New Year's in Japan. In Japan, there is a Buddhist ritual that takes place at midnight on New Year's Eve. It involves ringing a bell exactly 108 times. Buddhists believe that we humans are entrapped by 108 different desires that keep us suffering. The chimes symbolize purification, 
for the accumulation of these passions over the previous year. A few moments later. Today, we're going to make some scratch art. To get started, we need paper and some oil pastels. To start, you can make any design you want. Use any colors that you want. I started with three dots and put a different color around each dot until I used the whole page. Next, brush off the little pieces of oil pastel. And now, you are ready. I'm going to make two different projects. This one, we need a template. My template is going to be Taipei 101. I make the shape of the template and now I can color the building blue and I will put fireworks around it and the fireworks will be orange, yellow, and green. Be sure to use white for any other areas. For our next step, we need dish soap and black acrylic paint. Put equal parts paint and dish soap into a cup. Mix up your paint and soap. On top of your design, paint the black paint going up and down. Let the paint dry and do another layer going side to side. I will do the same thing for my 101 design. First, painting up and down, letting it dry, and then painting side to side. I let mine dry overnight. Next up, get some fried chicken. Mmm, delicious. We need the stick they give you with your fried chicken. Get your original design, fix the corners, and start scratching any design you want. I wanted to make a design that was about the new year. So I scratched off Happy New Year. But I was not done yet. I wanted to put in the new year. So I scratched in 2022. I thought it would look nice if I scratched off the middle of the letters and numbers. Next, brush off the little pieces that you scratched off. Looks good. Next up, our 101. Get your 101 template just in the right spot. Mine goes in the middle. Now you can scratch off around your template and you have 101. I scratched in some windows on my building and then I could add in the fireworks. They start orange, change to yellow, and then green. I added some stars in on the white area. I really like it. If you want to try it out, take a picture and send it to us. I can't wait to see it. New Year's in Belgium. In Belgium, farmers rise early 
on New Year's Day and promptly head out to the stables to wish the cows a Happy New Year. Oh. Mm. Oh no! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Today we are cooking for New Year's. And it is common for people in North America to make a New Year's dish with corn. Because corn is gold and it looks like the color of money. So corn is good luck to eat going into a new year to bring you good fortune. Now, today we are going to be making something with corn, but it looks like this. This is a corn muffin mix. We're going to be putting everything to cook into this. It is called a corn casserole. Casserole just means you mix a lot of things in one baking pan. So let's look at what we're going to put inside. Let's take a look at our ingredients. First up for our corn, we have our corn muffin mix. I bought this in the USA. I always bring some back when I visit my family in the summer. Next, we're going to be using some Greek yogurt. The recipe calls for sour cream, but that's hard to find in Taiwan. So Greek yogurt is just fine. Next, we have two more cans of corn. Okay, this is cream style corn. And here we just have canned corn. The last two ingredients we have are unsalted butter and some eggs. So I'm going to put all of these together in one bowl. We'll mix that up, pour it into our baking tray, and then we'll have our corn casserole. Let's get started. Now we just need to mix everything into our bowl. So I'm going to start with our corn muffin mix. Next I'll add our just canned corn. I drained off the water on the inside, so we're not adding more water to our recipe. I'll keep all of the liquid inside the cream corn, that would be really hard to get out. The whole can goes in. You can use a spoon to try to get out the rest. But be careful, it's really sharp around the edge of this can. Okay, next I want to add my Greek yogurt. You can use the same spoon since everything is going just into one bowl. We're going to add two, two containers of Greek yogurt. Next, I have my butter. It's important that your butter is soft before you add it so it's easier to add. We're adding a quarter cup of butter, 80 grams. And last, we're going to need three eggs. I'm going to crack the eggs, put them right in. Try not to make too much of a mess. Egg number three. Our last step is just mix everything together. Then we're going to put it in our baking pan. So I'll get started mixing. The corn casserole has been thoroughly mixed. I have my oven getting hot. 
and I have prepared my baking sheet. All I did was rub some cold butter around so the corn casserole does not stick to the pan. Now all we have to do is pour our batter. Try to get as much as you can. We worked hard for this. Well, not too hard, but we want all of the tasty corn casserole on our plates and not in the sink. Try to get as much as you can. And then we're going to spread it out evenly. To do that, all you have to do is move it from one side down back to the other until you have total coverage in our pan. Okay, now this is going to go into a 190 degrees Celsius oven, that's 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's going to bake for about 20 minutes. And then when it's done, I'll come and show you how it looks. Alright, our corn casserole is hot right out of the oven. You can see it's a nice golden brown color. It smells amazing. Now all we have to do is cut it and eat it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe today. Have a happy new year. New Year's in Spain. There is a food tradition in Spain on New Year's that requires people to eat 12 grapes at midnight. One grape for each time the clock chimes. If you don't eat all 12 grapes, you'll miss out on extra good luck in the coming year. Please send us a picture or a video of your project. Send them to zhanghuareadstv at gmail.com. Here are the submissions for the month of December.
thank you to all the teachers, all the students for your hard work and all the submissions that you have sent us. We really appreciate that. Please send more to TV at gmail.com. Thank you and have a happy new year. We'll see you again. Goodbye. Some of the things you can send to us are the Scratch Off Art Project or a corn casserole that you make. Be sure to send it to Jianghua Reads TV at gmail.com. That's all for today's episode. See you next time.